Interpretation of the Holy Quran. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. With the help of Allah, we started to have a brief interpretation of Quran. We were talking about Surah Fatiha, Chapter Hamd. We talked a little, and I would like to continue. Please listen to verse 1 to 7. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Malik yawm ad-Din. Iyaka na'bud wa iyaka nasta'in. Ihdina al-Sirat al-Mustaqim. صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. الله says بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of Allah the beneficent the merciful. This chapter and all the chapters in Quran have been started with this beautiful sentence. Except one chapter, chapter Naml, since in that chapter Allah is talking about unbelievers and showed his angriness with those people. Because of that, there is no reason to talk, to mention the name of Allah and his beneficent, his merciful, these two attributes for Allah. Although even in that chapter, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, is mentioned also but it is in the between chapter it is not at the beginning so that chapter is not started otherwise all the chapter of Quran have been started with this sentence the name of Allah in the name of Allah the beneficent the merciful as we know and is mentioned in the history different nations different people different cultures when they want to start a, a building, for example, or something which is so important, they start with the name of a person who is very important and is very famous and renowned, renowned for, him, for them. A person who is very respected for them. They started their activities with his name. For example, when they want to start a building, they say, okay, the first person should come, or the important person should come and start the building. They want to achieve the blessings by his name or his presence. Although it was common to start with the name of idols, since they were believing in idols, they were worshipping different idols, disbelievers, pagans, they were starting different activities by their names, although it is wrong, but it was a custom for them. It was a part of their culture. Since we are Muslims and we believe in Allah, we believe that we can gain and achieve blessings of Allah by mentioning His name when we want to start some activities. Anything we want to start, we should start by the name of Allah. As we said, also in the time of Prophet, peace be upon him, it was a custom that they, when they wanted to do some activities, they were trying to start from the Prophet, peace be upon him, as it is mentioned in the war of Khandaq, when they want to start to dig the 
land and make a ditch. The first peak was used by the Prophet, peace be upon him. So first Prophet started. It was a custom. And since we are Muslims and we believe in Allah, when we want to do something important, which is so important, and we want to gain the blessings of Allah, we start with the name of Allah. <laughs> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim is the sentence that all the holy books have been started by Allah's name. We are advised that anything you want to do, if you want to gain and achieve the blessings of Allah and to finish your activities and be a successful one, successful person in your activity, start with the name of Allah. There is a narration which says, كل أمر ذيبال لم يبدأ ببسم الله فهو أبتر. Anything, any activities, although which is something which is very important and very good, if it is not started with the name of Allah, it is not completed, and such a person will not be a successful person. It is good to know that when Prophet knew, as Quran is telling us. When he faced the hurricanes and problems, he ordered his people to get on and board on the sheep. And he started with the name of Allah. Quran says, وَقَالَ ركبوا It means Prophet Nuh, peace be upon him, has ordered his people وَقَالَ ركبوا فيها بسم الله مجراها ومرصاها إن ربي لقفور الرحيم and he said it means Prophet Nuh embark in it board on the sheep in the name of Allah be it sailing and it's anchoring most surely my Lord is forgiving merciful so we will see that the movement of the sheep or the starting stopping of the sheep anything is by the name of Allah and they started to board on the sheep with the name of Allah also in chapter Naml when we see that Prophet Sulaiman had invited the queens of Sheba to convert to his religion and converted to believing in God as it is mentioned in Quran Allah says that Prophet Sulaiman peace be upon him wrote at the beginning of his letter that innahu min Sulaiman wa innahu bismillahir rahmanir rahim Chapter Naml, verse 30. Surely it is from Sulaiman. It means this invitation. And this letter is from Sulaiman, Prophet, peace be upon him. And surely it is in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. So, Prophet Nuh, peace be upon him, started with the name of Allah. Prophet Sulaiman, peace be upon him, started with the name of Allah. There is a narration which is mentioned in Kanz al-Ummal narration 29,558 that Prophet said to a person who was writing the name of Allah Bismillah Prophet, excuse me, Imam Ali peace be upon him said Yawidha, try to write it in a good handwriting not only start with the name of Allah. Not when you want to write something right at the beginning of that. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Try to write it in a beautiful name. Believe that Allah is going to help you. When you acknowledge that I'm going to start with your name. While you are beneficent and you are merciful. 
When you acknowledge and you seek help from Allah, Allah is going to help more and more. And also there is a narration from Imam Ali, peace be upon him, that Imam says, whoever starts something with the name of Allah, he should be sure that he will be blessed and his activity will be blessed. Otherwise, he will not succeed. We are recommended that, that when you want to eat something, say Bismillah. When you want to drink something, when you want to sleep in the evening, when you want to start have a journey, when you want to get on the board, for example, get on the bus, say Bismillah. When you want to slaughter a sheep, a cow, a camel, say in the name of Allah, without that, the flesh of the cow or sheep is not allowed to use it. This is the reason that sometimes we say, this is a haram meat. How? As we understood from Quran, when we want to slaughter a sheep, we must say, Bismillah, in the name of Allah. Anything is slaughtered without the name or mentioning the name of Allah. We cannot use it, and it is not allowed. There is a narration which says, You should not forget the name of Allah, even if you want to write some poems. Say, Bismillah. There are some narrations that says, How much... A teacher gets rewarded by teaching Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim to the students. He must understand that when he teaches the sent such a beautiful sentence, he is going to achieve a lot. And this narration is brought in Tafsir Burhan, volume 1, page 43. Now, we understood that in many, many narrations, they advise us to start, and it was a custom for believers. And also, prophets, different prophets have showed us that anything you want to do, start with the name of Allah. But here there is a question that, okay, what is the reason that anything we want to do, it is good to say Bismillah? If we want to, for example, start to build a building, we have understood. For Slaughtering a sheep, for example, we have understood. But all activities, like getting on the bus, sleeping, eating, drinking, for what? What we are going to achieve? What is the reason behind that? It is good to understand that, for example, when a factory make something like, for example, a radio, a TV, or any items, they try to have a brand, and in each one they stamp a brand, to show that, for example, this is from this company, this is for HP, for example, this is for Compaq, this is a Sony, this is Panasonic, this is a brand, and they are going to put it in each item they make it. Allah wants and the Islam wants that the Muslims will stand the name of Allah in all his activities to show that anything I do, I remember the Lord. He remember that he has a creator. And anything he does, he is going to watch him. He, Allah and religion wants to emphasize that anything you want to do, it should have a good color, and that is the color of Allah. And all our activities can have the color of Allah by the name of Allah. It is like a flag of a country. All different buildings, they try to put a flag to say that we belong to this country. A Muslim, every place, anything he does, he say Bismillah to say that I belong 
to the Allah. My activities belong to Allah. My drinking, my sleeping, my studying, my working, everything belongs to Him. Then Allah is going to help. So we have understood that if we remember the name of Allah, and we mention because we want to color all our activities with the color of Allah, so we can work our daily basis, anything you want to do, but we gain the reward. How? By mentioning the name of Allah and connecting our relation to Allah. If I am going to work, my Lord, in the name of you, the name of Allah, and I am going to seek help from you. If I study, if I teach, if I sell something, if I buy something. At the same time that we gain money and we do our job, studying, working, anything we want. At the same time we gain reward by remembering Allah and connecting our activities to His name. And coloring our activities with the color of Allah. We ask Allah to help us, not to forget Him in any circumstances. Thank you very much for watching. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.